Well, the Instagram uh, poll results came in. They were great. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate it. I, I mean, it was, it was not close at all. <laughs> it was not close at all. Will, congratulations. Thank you. You took that round. Very conclusive. This is on my poll, 41 to 59. So, congratulations. It's now your turn to pick the challenge. I think it would be a good challenge for us to try forging out a center punch. In how much time? I think about 45 minutes would be good. Sounds like we're gonna be forging center punches in 45 minutes. Before we jump into the challenge, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, which is Trade Coffee. Now, I love my morning routine of waking up, making the coffee, drinking it, enjoying the flavor. Now, what I love about Trade Coffee is it makes it extremely easy to get some fantastic coffee into your routine. They partner with 50 of the nation's best coffee roasters. They have over 400 coffees, and when you order from Trade Coffee, you know you're getting fresh coffee because it's roasted to order. But you're also getting it at an unbelievably competitive price. Here is a coffee I've just got from them. I recently finished off this great coffee and highly enjoyed it. We're gonna make ourselves up a cup of this. Remember the first 100 of you that click my link in the description and use code STEEL at checkout are gonna get 50% off your first trade coffee order. Go check that out. We're gonna make the coffee. We're gonna get back into the competition. That is a good coffee. Let's get back to the competition. So do we have the steel, Will? We've got some 43, 45 eighths inch round stock here. Should be a great center punch material. Now does the winner go first or does the loser go first? I, I think, think the loser goes I first. I think the loser go good. I, me think loser go first. So I think that's gonna be me. We're gonna make sure the forge is hot and then we're gonna start the timer. I'm gonna take some of this 5 eighths inch round and make a center punch. Hopefully it's gonna be better than yours, Will. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Forge is hot. You've got your steel. Yes, I do. Your 45 minutes. Here we go. Starts now. Okay, into the forge. I go, I need this thing to get hot. Love it if the forge was a little bit hotter. Okay, center punch that I'm gonna go for. The vision I have is I wanna start with a hexagon. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the hammer running. So it's warming up. Okay, I've got an automatic center punch here. I'm marking out on this piece of hexagon that I just forged. I'm marking out some little center punch dots. I just slipped. Plan is chisel from one center punch dot to the other. Make myself a little groove. There we go, this'll do. It's a little dull. Here we go. Back to the forge. Need a hammer. Okay, I'm gonna start off at a low temperature. Wow, six sides is a lot. This would have been faster with four sides. Oh my, okay. How much time is left? You've got 34 minutes left. 34 minutes, okay, I gotta hustle. Okay, I marked the front of my cut, I'm now gonna mark the bottom of the cut. Time for another heat, here we go. Now I gotta join up the cuts. So I'm getting these cuts running down the length of each face of the hexagon. I need to get them a little bit deeper, but I don't want to go too far because I can't compromise the structural integrity of this since it is a center punch. Okay, I need to let this cool down, then I need to go to an angle grinder. Here we go. 20 minutes remaining. How many? 20. 20. Okay, it's now time to twist it. I have no idea how this is gonna work. It's shot in the dark. I think I've seen people do twists in a similar kind of way on square bar, doing it on a hexagon, also doing it on a center punch. We're gonna see how it goes. I'm now going to get it. Twisting. Okay, I'm gonna get my wrench size to the right size. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get the tip in the vise, and I'm gonna start the twist. Oh, yes. That looks super cool. Okay, I'm gonna take another heat. What's the time, Will? 13 minutes. 13 minutes. Oh, boy. 
Now I'm going to take a hammer. I'm going to hammer from the end up top here. Need one more heat of that. And then it's on to forging the center punch. Okay, I'm going to forge the taper. Okay, I need a piece of wood handy too for straightening. Here we go. First thing I'm going to do. Straighten it. Then I'm going to come over to the anvil. We're going to forge that tape up for the center punch. Nine minutes. What? You have to get that ground and heat treated. That's the point. I'm going to mark it for cutting. Okay, back to the anvil. Okay, touch mark. Have a look how straight it is. Going into the fire, I'm going to heat up the tip, quench it, and then I'm going to temper it in the same go. Oh my gosh. Did you just say you weren't recording? I don't know how long I wasn't recording for though. Well, I quenched it and I'm now tempering it with the residual heat. Okay, while I'm still waiting for that heat to conduct, I'm going to break this off. There we go. Okay, that'll do. Okay, let's grind it. He's got two minutes left. Two minutes, there we go. 36 grits coming off, 120 grits coming on. 45 seconds left. 10 seconds, or 12 seconds. Okay, five, okay. four, oh my three, goodness. two, one, done. <laughs> there we go. Nice. There's the center punch just in the nick of time. Woo! So what do you reckon, Will? Are you ready for your 45 minutes? No? Here is the steel. I'll take my center punch back. Your time starts now. Go for it, Will. 45 minutes. All right, I'm going to turn the hammer on. Start off with it. Hammer's coming off, apparently. Yeah. I'm just going to hand forge it. Coming to an end of heat number one. How's it going, Will? Good. It's getting pointy. All right, so I'm about to cut off my center punch from the parent stock, and then we start tapering the other side. Uh, one side is gonna be round, the other side is gonna be octagonal. And after I get that forged out real nice, go into the grinding room and I'm gonna grind all of those surfaces clean, and then I'll move on to the heat treat and the temper. Pretty good heat, I'm gonna go ahead and start breaking down those corners next heat and then uh, I'll do a couple thermal cycles on it and we'll uh, take it into the grinding room. Okay, so we have an issue and that issue is that this thing is bent. It'll be okay. Are you gonna be able to straighten it? Yes, it'll be a very a bendful heat. All right, time to get in. We're gonna, we're gonna do at least one thermal cycle. And we're gonna go from the other side because the other side's gonna be the striking tip. 29 minutes. I think the biggest thing that I'm worried about is letting it cool down enough to the point where I can grind it comfortably. Yeah, that's why I wrap mine in paper towels. We let it cool down for a little bit. Oh, wait. And that's gonna what, refine the structure of the grain in there? Yes, so basically, steel gets super stressed out when you forge it. This is like giving it a nice Swedish massage. You're getting in there, refining that grain structure, taking out the stress, making it relax. What was that analogy, Will? <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you say? All right, while that thing is cooling down, I'm gonna switch over to a 60 grit belt in here, and then I'm gonna get my PPE on. I 
swear whenever he does these challenges, time extends. He's drinking coffee while changing. What? He, he seems far too relaxed for this. Bad boys at 100. That's good. All right, let's go find. Let's go find some PPE to put on. <laughs> Is that hot? Yes. All right, time for some more coffee while we let that cool down. I can start grinding while it's hot. Onto a 120 grip belt, clean up everything, and then we'll scotch brite it. Twelve minutes left, Will. Twelve minutes. I'm getting ready to harden it. I only want the tip to harden. Go in for the quench. Good. Make sure it skates a file. Sure does. I'm just gonna take off that oxide layer all the way around. Make sure that I can see the color of it real well. This isn't actually cutting into it, it's just scraping it. Never mind. That didn't harden. <laughs> uh -oh. So you have to harden it again? I'm gonna have to harden it again. How are we doing on time? Nine minutes, six seconds. So we're going in again. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Is it hard? No. It's not hard? Not enough to skate a file. Is yours harding? I have no idea. You didn't check, did you? Nope. Where'd yours go? Hey, don't touch mine. I'm gonna file on yours. I'm hiding it. Focus on yours. Well, I don't even know if this is hardenable now. That's feeling better. Six minutes remaining. I'm gonna temper it from the butt and so I'm sticking the butt in the fire and waiting for the nice color to draw all the way to the tip. That butt's at a nice red heat and so that heat is slowly coming through the piece now. Three minutes, 55 seconds. Oh shoot. <laughs> that straw color still hasn't drawn itself all the way. Two minutes, 51 seconds. All right. Do you have your temper colors yet? Not yet. That's very worrying. We're starting to get a little bit golden. Making the most of the snowstorm. All right, you are quenching that in the snow. No, I'm not. You're definitely quenching that in the snow. No, I'm not. It wasn't hot enough to harden. To the grinding room. One minute, 16 seconds. Oh my goodness. He's running. Twenty-four seconds. Fourteen seconds. Twelve, eleven, four, three. Two, one, stop! There we go! Ah, uh, no! What happened? I didn't get all of the Ford scale off of one of them. You didn't? No. Well, that's time. Will, amazing work. Thank you. That was impressive. Very impressive. Let's have a look. Will, I have to say, that is a beautiful center punch. Thank you very much. That is very, very nice. I'm sorry you didn't get every single bit that you wanted to get. Still looks, still looks very, very nice. <laughs> Thank you. What we've got to do now, of course, we've got to test them. We've got to get a piece of steel. We've got the piece of steel. And we are each going to center punch 24 holes. We're going to see who's is sharper. After 24 center punchings. Here is before. Mine isn't completely round. There is before. Will's is on the left. Mine is on the right. Okay, I'm gonna go first. 24 center punch marks. Here we go. The tip looks good. Yep, and the holes are pretty kind of consistent in their shape and form at the base. It's your turn. That's 24. They all look fairly consistent. I just started hitting harder the farther in I got. How's the tip look? It doesn't look deep oh. at all. Great. It is up to you guys to decide who won that one. The way to vote 
is you go to Instagram, follow him, Will underscore Celta. Follow me, Alex Steele. We're going to have poll up tonight. Vote in the poll. And we'll decide. In our stories, by the way. There is a little bit of confusion about that on the last one. Yep. The poll is in the stories. Click on the stories. Vote in the polls. We're going to average it up between his polls and my polls to work out who wins this round of the competition. The winner is going to pick the challenge in the next round. Make sure that you go vote. See who wins this challenge. Of course, I want to quickly thank today's sponsor. Again, Trade Coffee. Make sure that you go to my link in the description. The first hundred of you that use code STEEL are going to get 50% off your coffee order. You can get a coffee like this Dune or the one that we prepared earlier in the video from the McQueen of Coffee Roasters. It's delicious. You're going to get some great coffee at a great price. Thank you, Trade, for sponsoring the video. Thank you guys for supporting our sponsors, watching this video and voting. It's been a pleasure as always. Can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.